Hi and welcome to Low Content Resources. My name is Ron Saker and in this video I'm going to show you how to generate Sudoku puzzles part one. So the first thing you need to do obviously is well <coughs> start the software. Click on the tab build. Step one, click start a new puzzle, fill in the data. Next, step two, click on build options, fill in the data. Third step, click start building, sit back and wait until all your puzzles are done. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go do step the first thing. Let's start our software. We're going to select the puzzle we want, Sudoku, and we're going to click on and go. From this point, we need to start a new puzzle. So we're going to go up to build, go to start a new puzzle, and then here, I don't actually fill this section in anymore. Um, I did when I first got it because I thought it'd be really neat to have the puzzle names and the copyright notice and the puzzle number and all that crap. <laughs> I was trying to think of a nicer way of putting it uh, on the puzzles, but then I noticed I would, you know, uh, I hadn't sold anything, any of the puzzles for months. And um, so I thought, I wonder it's because it's got so much other stuff on the puzzles that was uh, deterring the uh, puzzle solver uh, from actually enjoying the, the puzzles. So uh, I redid all my puzzle books. I stripped out that off of them. Well, most of them anyway. Um, others I just left there and I just started building the new ones without all the... This, garbage in there. So, but if you want to do this, um, the file name is actually obviously the file name, but the, you're going to get uh, caught out here because it actually creates the file name according to the year, the month, and then the day. Now, that to me is really confusing when I go looking for the templates to see what's going on. So what I always do is I go 1000, 0101, makes it so much easier to follow, you know, in the, to find them. Then you can put the author, which is whoever you are, your copyright, and, you know, the open bracket, C, close the bracket, and, you know, and your uh, company name. The puzzle number could be whatever it is. This is series one or series two, series three, whatever of the puzzles you, you you're creating these puzzle notes just for you. Don't ever worry about uh, uh, enabling these, just leave it as they are. So I know that was a long lecture as it were, <laughs> but I just tend to forget. I just don't use this section, so I'm going to just cancel it. So the next one we want to go to, it says let's click on start, build a new puzzle. So we go into build, uh, uh, sorry, build options. In here, this is the symbol set, so you can do your Sudoku with the 1 to 9, or you can go, uh, let's see now, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. <laughs> now I know my alphabet. Uh, okay, so you can do your alphabet Sudoku. You can even do uh, alphanumeric, so let's say 1, 2, 3, the last five, instead of using the alphabet, we use the numbers. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Or you can have the numbers in front and the alphabet at the end. It doesn't matter. It's really up to you. Have a play. Uh, do something that, like nobody else has done before. Perhaps have um, seven letters and two numbers, or two num uh, two letters and seven numbers, whatever. Now. This is where you can actually create a lot of variations in Sudaku. It's just absolutely mind-boggling. It has a diff difficulty level of 1 to 19. So, in my own mind, peewee mind, 1, 2, 3 I would do for kids. 4, 5, 6 and 7 would be for uh, intermediate users. 8, 9, 10, and 11 would be for um, 
not newbies, but veterans, if you like. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15 is hard, quite hard. 16, 17, 18, and 19 is very hard, or extremely hard. So you, you sort this out for yourself, um, you know, and do, do them up in the series, okay? Now, how many, how many puzzles do you want to use or do you want to make? Uh, I always liked doing 5,000 because it's just as easy to have the pro program go and churn out 5,000 uh, puzzles uh, as it is to do 200. And obviously you've watched my very first um, video on how to create thousands of puzzles. So this is just doing exactly the same thing. Now for the first puzzle, as I said, instead of this date thing, I always go 1,000, 01, 01. Uh, and uncheck, you don't want it the very difficulty on the seven day cycle because we're not creating these for newspaper. We're creating these for uh, puzzle books. Okay, then select uh, the difficulty. That's one, is, as I said, for uh, child's play. I'm going to redo uh, number, let's see if those are extremely hard, and those are hard, uh, I'm going to do number 17, extremely miserably hard, <laughs> so I'm now going to click that, then the next thing we want to do is we want to click on build and go to, hello, start building. Now, you'll want to know where the puzzles have been uh, generated. And if you go into where your software was that you opened, and you go into the Sudoku folder, where did I, there it is, you'll see in a moment that these are your puzzles being generated, okay? Right, so I just had to rearrange the folder here because I'm going, that was only the ones I um, wanted numbered. Uh, and then I found them down here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine puzzles being generated at the moment. So it's going to take a while uh, to actually get up to 5,000 because um, we're actually doing a alphanumeric, uh, yeah, alphanumeric, alphanumeric getting a bit tongue-tied there. So that's how we go about creating the puzzles. Now I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to come back in video two.